well-designed prospecting system helps companies go to market faster, generate a regular flow of leads, and create major efficiencies for sales reps in their daily workflows and business development efforts. In this video, we'll cover what an automated prospecting system is and how to set one up, the key components to nail before you scale your system, sourcing high quality prospect lists to fuel your prospecting engine, best practices for creating effective outreach messaging, and scoring leads and enabling your reps with targeted follow through. Let's first cover what an automated prospecting system entails and the items you'll need to get one up and running for your sales team. The idea behind automating prospecting activities is to increase the overall output and lead flow generated by your sales team. To do this effectively, you'll need a clear go-to-market plan, high-quality prospect lists that match your plan, a sequence of effective outreach messages to engage your prospects, a marketing automation platform that connects with the Outlook or Gmail accounts of your sales team, and a method for scoring the top engaged prospects to enable your sales reps to follow through on the most qualified prospects. With these items in place, you can assemble an automated prospecting system. Let's dive into each with a few best practices. First, creating a go-to market plan. In this step, you'll want to organize and prioritize where you'll focus your lead generation efforts. While it may be tempting to pursue many markets, you'll typically want to select targets where you already have the most traction. Consider attributes like company size, industry, location, and the titles of decision makers. Once you know your targets, you can create compelling messaging based on the outcomes each target cares about and your credibility to deliver those results. Referencing successes with similar clients and sharing case studies will increase engagement and positive responses. Step two, building a quality prospect list. With a clear plan in place, the next step is generating a list of prospects that match your targets. Prospect lists can be sourced by using platforms like ZoomInfo, leveraging human researchers from sites like Upwork, or using other data sources that may be available. Be sure to only source lists of your decision makers and not the broader organization. This will improve response rates and overall lead flow. You'll also want to take location into consideration to enable an organized and scalable prospecting approach to your target markets. This will let you know where you've been and where to go next and ensure you're reaching prospects at the right times. If you don't already have a reliable source of prospect lists, Nerdwise can help in this area. Ensure prospect lists have been reviewed internally by your sales team prior to launch. This will ensure that existing clients and prospects have been removed and that your team is excited about the list they'll be going after. Managing outreach from a centralized system can help prevent duplicate and unwanted emails from reaching the wrong audiences. It can also help you to centralize your do not contact lists. Step three, create a sequence of outreach emails. In general, we recommend four touches over a two week period. These could go on a Monday and Tuesday and a Wednesday and Thursday schedule. Some of the highest response rates will occur on your follow-up message sent 24 hours after the initial email has been received. Sending that email as a reply to the original can bump your previous message back to the top of the prospect's inbox. So reach out on a Monday, then follow up on Tuesday. Same for Wednesday and Thursday with additional follow-ups the next week. When it comes to subject lines, including your prospect's first and last name in the subject line is proven to generate high open rates. Adding too much information about your solution can come off as a marketing email and land your message in the recipient's trash folder. Personalize each email with your recipient's name, company, and other relevant information. Personalization is easiest when messaging is kept short. Keep your emails within three to four sentences if possible. Use storytelling and social proof to build trust and credibility. Sharing case studies or citing results from similar clients will improve response rates and lead flow. Linking to case studies will also give you another metric to track and use to score engagement. Include a clear call to action that invites the recipient to take the next step. We recommend asking for a meeting at a specific day and time. This is an easier call to action than asking the prospect if they are interested in your solution. For example, it's easier to say yes to a 10 minute intro call than deciding if you're interested in a particular solution. Step four, optimize email performance. 
When it comes to sales outreach, you'll want to target 60 to 70% open rates and 10 to 20% response rates. If your open rates are low, it's likely your subject line. If your response rates are low, but the open rates are high, your messaging could be unconvincing or you could be targeting the wrong audience. Once you've achieved consistently high open and response rates, you can confidently scale your outreach with additional sales reps and performance should stay consistent. You'll want to monitor performance every few weeks, keeping an eye on which emails in your sequence drive the best performance and which might need some work. Step five, score leads from your email outreach. Scoring leads from your email outreach means identifying the top engaged prospects who did not respond, but have been showing interest. This could mean they've opened the same emails multiple times, clicked on links to your website and case studies, or a combination of the two. You can score leads manually by exporting the results from your outreach and filtering through the top engaged, non-responsive contacts and delivering them regularly to your sales team for their prospecting and follow-through efforts. Nerdwise offers a free lead scoring application where you can upload these prospect lists, score them, and call or engage on LinkedIn with just one click. The application works on desktop and mobile. Okay, so we just covered a lot of info on how to set up an automated prospecting system. Let's recap some of the key takeaways. Before setting up your system, you'll need a clear plan, quality prospect lists, sequences of messaging, an email automation tool, and a method for scoring top engaged prospects. You'll also need a reliable source for high quality prospect lists to fuel your prospecting engine. Data sources like ZoomInfo or human researchers from sites like Upwork can be effective for quickly producing prospect lists. When it comes to your outreach messaging, we recommend four touches over two weeks. Very personal subject lines and messaging built around the audience, outcomes they care about, and your credibility to produce those results. To get the most out of your system, you'll also want a method for scoring leads. This can be done manually by exporting and sorting non-responsive prospects, or automatically by using a lead scoring application like Nerdwise. With all of this in place, you can begin scaling up your sales outreach and prospecting activity within the markets you serve and generating a regular flow of leads for your sales team. To learn more about scaling your sales outreach, prospecting, and lead flow, check out more Nerdwise videos and feel free to contact a member of our team.